Hello friends, welcome back to the bench. Today we're going to attempt to find a short on this board without any use of a uh, thermal camera, because I don't have one. <laughs> so we're going to use any other technique that we can to find which element is shorted and if possible, remove it, replace it and get this board working again. Let's try. Alrighty, so a few hours later and um, I found something. First of all, when I disconnected everything and just left the on button with it, with the board and pretty much just the board, as you can see, the board uh, boots up. I can even connect the keyboard and the monitor, I can get into BIOS, everything seems to be working just fine. But as soon as I connect the uh, drive, the SATA drive, right, either first and then try to boot it up or uh, connect it while it's working, it stops working. So naturally, my first uh, idea was that we have some dry capacitors or uh, blown capacitors. So I started not even replacing, just adding capacitors because that's the easy way to diagnose it. But that didn't help. So the other possibility, what it can be, is a short. And I noticed that this part over here is heating up significantly it's actually burning my finger 
to the extent. Oh, I also established that it's 5 volt line, 5 volt rail that um, is causing it to shut down by putting um, by putting load extra load on 5 volt uh, rail and that causes it uh, causes it to shut down if i put the same load on 3.3 it's fine so it's only 5 volt rail that we're having issues with now uh, let's turn on the, uh, the scope camera get some focus so these are the capacitors that I identified. Uh, these three, one, two, and three. Now, without thermal camera, that's kind of a pain in the ass, but you can use alcohol to basically put a lot of alcohol on it and see what evaporates first and it's always the same configuration so this one this one evaporates first this one evaporates second and this one third so my guess is that this one and this one are shorted and this one is just heating up from this one so let's let's desolder them and test them outside the circuit and see if that is indeed the source of the short. The other possibility is that it's actually the, the chipset, uh, because there is a chipset on the other side, that is actually shorted, um, and capacitors are just radiating that heat. But let's see.
Alrighty, so I desoldered a whole bunch of capacitors on this side. None of them were shorted. And I obviously only focused on the ones that I could feel were getting really hot, hotter than the ones around them. Uh, whichever one evaporates alcohol first. Then I switched to this side. There's not a lot of, uh, not very many capacitors on this side, but there were still some. So I eliminated those and uh, we still have a short. And I concluded that this short is coming from that chip. Because, yeah, this one, when I turn it on, this one is getting hot uh, immediately. Uh, and then you know, all the other capacitors on the other side and this side just get warm from it so they were not the issue so I don't have a chip to replace or even to test the theory and even if I had I don't really have tools to desolder this these uh, big chips and uh, at the moment I don't plan to to get those because they take up a lot of room and it's it's a hassle and usually it's not very profitable doing doing that stuff because it's kind of 50 50 uh, but on the on the upside is that we have quite a few uh, mosfets here obviously a few pretty big coils working cpu um working um wi-fi card a whole bunch of um, ports that maybe I can remove without damaging them. Uh, perhaps that HDMI can be removed without any damage, although there's quite a bit of plastic around it. Perhaps USB. Yeah. They're in good condition, both of them. And some chips here and there, maybe some connectors. So this is not a complete loss. Too bad it's uh, it's a no fix. But also this was like twenty dollar purchase. So considering all the parts that I get from it, plus working uh, display and a few cables and stuff, it's not too bad. But that's the reason the memory and the, the drive were pulled from it because it just wouldn't turn on and actually it does turn on when you when you don't put any load on it which was surprising because you can even get into BIOS but because of that short it just drops the, the voltage just drops the, the converters just turn off and it just dies oh and I have working battery I believe <laughs> Alrighty, too bad it's no fix, but I hope you found it useful nevertheless. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.